Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult colouring channel and hobbies channel. Um, none of the videos are made for or intended for children. I do apologise if you can hear buzzing in the background. It's very warm in my bedroom where I'm filming in the spare room um, tonight. I've got a fan on and the reason I'm warm is I've been doing eBay photos and uh, the, the photo lamp gets a very, very hot. So we are colouring in a Magical Designs by Clara Markova. We're doing this one. I just got to get myself comfortable. I'm going to carry on uh, colouring in. We're going to start on the pomegranate. So I've got two colours here. I've got red, crimson, a uh, crimson colour and madder. So that one's madder. I want the crimson one first. So first of all, I'd like to say hello and thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you joining me here. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you do enjoy um, my videos. And welcome back to all my regular people who tune in no matter what I put up. Thank you. It's much, much appreciated. So I'm doing these pomegranates. I can remember eating pomegranates when I was a kid. I remember my mum buying them and then she'd cut them in half and she'd give half to me and half to my younger brother Chris and we'd be there with a pin pulling the seeds out and eating them I used to like pomegranate yeah so I'm enjoying doing this one So thank you for everybody who's been, uh, who enjoyed my uh, book, my supplies haul. I've got so many colouring books. I am trying to colour at least one picture in every single book. It's very, very, very hard when you've got as many as I. And I'm th sitting here thinking, I'm, I'm rambling on about this rubbish with everything that's going on in the world. First of all, I want to say, wherever you are, I hope you're safe. If you've been out protesting, fair play to you. You have my full support. Things need to change. They're not changing quick enough. This is the 21st century and it's time the world reflected that. So those of you who know me quite well know that I am from Bristol. You may have seen on the news about the protesters pulling down the statue of Edward Colston. I am not surprised this that statue should have been removed years ago and I'm not going to get too political because this is not a political channel but he was a slave trader and no matter what good he did for the city of Bristol with what he built and the money he gave to the good causes for Bristol he was still a slave trader and that statue should have been removed years ago so I just hope that you're all keeping safe and looking after yourselves and looking after each other because that's what we need to do. We have to come together and look after each other now. doesn't matter what colour our skin is or where we're from. Yes, I know I come from a very privileged white background. Yes, I don't know what you go through. I can't imagine it. And I'm I'm grateful for that, but I'm on I'm I am with you. My thoughts are with you all. But change has to come. So enough of that. We're we're here to uh, colour and enjoy the colouring. So I hope that I haven't offended anybody. Um, if I have, I apologise, or maybe I don't. I don't know. If, if uh, you need to unsubscribe, that's fine, please do. Um, but let's just, just be kind to each other. So other than that, I hope um, you're all still staying well with the other situation, the pandemic situation that's going on. Um, Things seem to be getting better in, in some places. New Zealand are lifting all their restrictions apart from their borders. They're only, I think, believe they're only allowing New Zealand nationals in and out or residents in and out. So, 
but even then they're quarantined for 14 days that's what I gather it but they are now lifting the social restrictions they're allowing pubs clubs and restaurants to open mass gatherings are now allowed to take place again um, and I think that the New Zealand Prime Minister has shown how it should be done really she's been amazing she took it seriously from day one she imposed the lockdown and that lockdown worked and she knows it's not going to go away and they have to be vigilant and they have to be careful and she still does say that if you you, you know social distancing is still a good thing but there's no reason why mass gatherings can't happen just be be careful if you start getting symptoms of a sickness report it and um, fair play to her they've really really knocked it they've shown the world how it should be done I'm quite proud of New Zealand um, I know my brothers are both safe my sister-in-law and her kids they're all they're all great I know that my niece has booked a trip they're allowed to do things like that now which is absolutely fantastic so I'm, I'm really really pleased for New Zealand I think they've really knocked it on the head in a great way and uh, other countries should learn from that yes their, their population um, isn't as, as huge as some places but to have no reported cases no cases at all anywhere in North or South Island is amazing it is absolutely fantastic First Minister here in Wales is talking about uh, relaxing some more of the lockdown restrictions which is wonderful I'm getting on to my mechanic to sort out my car He's going to ring me because my car's battery has died because I haven't been going anywhere. I've been, I did turn the engine over, but not enough, basically. So hopefully he'll come and sort that out for me soon and I can get some stuff done. I mean, I can't see pubs, clubs and restaurants opening anytime soon, sadly. Um, but we have to be careful. I know that England are talking about opening pubs on July 22nd, I think as long as they can serve in a garden but not all pubs have beer gardens some do but I mean like for instance Prince Wales has a lovely beer garden they have a massive beer garden and they have got space out the front where they have tables uh, and things like that and it's up to um, people to be sensible if these places are allowed to reopen I do miss going out for a drink and even Jennifer, she goes for a walk up the canal and she wants to go in the pub. That says a lot about her parents, doesn't it? To be honest, I just drink Coke most of the time, or lemonade. I'm not a big drinker. Jennifer's great, she's fine. She's having a funny five minutes with food. She just seems to want to eat cereal all the time. She's, she's loving the cereals at the moment, like uh, shreddies and things like that. She's just... mad on them and yogurt she'll eat a load of yogurt she loves yogurt but she likes the deluxe yogurts from Lidl's so the more expensive ones which is bloody typical really so still working hard still selling on eBay it's going okay um, I don't make a huge amount of money but I do make a little bit of profit and I, I save I save the money if I'm not reinvesting it in more stock like last month I did make about a hundred quid profit I've just left it in my account um, but I did spend a lot of money on stock last month I would have made a lot more profit if I hadn't but I need stock to to list and I'm still working through that stock at the moment which is fine I haven't got a problem with that um, it is You know, Paul's getting fed up with it because it's stuck in the hallway. Because I got enough, I haven't got enough space up here to put it in the in the room. Well, I've got some up here already, so I thought, do you know what? I, I haven't got time to photograph it during the day with Jennifer because she needs my attention. Quite rightly, how about I try and do it before I go to bed and 
you know, just trying to do 10 items every night and, and I did it tonight and it was fairly simple, very easy. Obviously it just makes the bedroom very, very hot. So because of that, I've got the fan on, so I do apologise. And that's me sharp in my pencil. If it is too loud, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure that it's not off on next time we do a video, which will probably be the third and final part of this one. I can't see me finishing this tonight. You know, this paper is so shiny and smooth, it's lovely. So I'm all ready now for when Black Widow released their next set of pencils. I can't wait for them because, I, as you know, I love my Black Widows. They are a good quality pencil at a reasonable budget price. You don't have to buy them all in one go. You can get open stock if you email um, Albert at MediHealth. I haven't done that yet, so I don't know how much they cost. But I am looking for a few from the Scorpion set, so I might email him because the Scorpion set is actually out of stock in the UK at the moment. So I might email him and ask him how much for these. I mean, if it works out, it's more expensive to buy four, five pencils than it is to buy the whole set. It's not worth buying open stock. And it depends on whether or not he's got a distributor in the UK, because I think he's in Australia. So... I managed to get hold of one of my favourite films, my, one of my favourite old movies uh, in the last week. I watched it, not last night, the night before. It's one of the reasons I haven't been making videos. Um, there's a few other reasons. I decided to have a night off. We've been doing some quizzes. Jennifer's needed me. I've been tired. Sometimes you do just need to take a break and take care of yourself, which is what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so the film I got is called Meet Me After The Show. And it stars 40s legend Betty Grable and Macdonald Carey. And it's a Broadway show. And it is just one of those, hey kids, let's put on a show. You know, the, the, the music doesn't do anything to the storyline. You know, it's just, they are staged uh, songs. Um, but I've always liked that movie. I had it when I was younger um, on video. I taped it off the television when it was on. Naughty, naughty, but I did, and we all did back then. And uh, I watched it and I watched it and the tape literally just fell apart. I think it was on the same, it was Pin Up Girl, so. And for ages I couldn't get a copy and I managed to get a copy of it, Region Zero, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if this will actually work. But it does, and I watched it. And it's, a, it's such a sweet film. Basically, Betty Grable plays this Broadway star named Delilah Lee. And she's married to the producer, uh, Richard, uh, what's his name? Something Ames. And, um, which is McDonald Carey. And uh, he's all about how he made her and how before he, he polished her, she wasn't very good and she was rough and all that. And... And then his back is this very sexy lady, female, um, woman named Gloria Carstairs. And he's meeting her and, you know, Betty Grable gets a bit jealous and starts thinking... I've got to turn this around so I can just get to the inside part. Starts thinking that... Yeah, uh, he's having an affair with her. He's not, but he's not doing himself any favours. He doesn't spend much time with her. Uh, and so on. So she leaves the show saying she's exhausted and she can't work. He knows it's a ploy. She sues him for alimony. You know, she's teaching him a lesson. So he decides to do the same. So he takes her out to dinner with a pretense that he's sorry and they want, he wants to get back together. And they convince her to do a number from the show which is closing because she left it. And of course, the press photographer photographs her and says, very well, you've, you've got your photograph, you've got your point, I'm well enough to perform, so on, so on. Um, and then he gets arrested for non-payment of alimony. He is then about to try and make up and apologise to her because he's out of money. 
the show is folded, he can't afford to play the alimony, his lawyer can't afford to play the alimony because he's got loads of women on the go. He's been in lots of films as well. In fact, I think he was in How to Marry a Millionaire. And, um, Recent, before, prior to that, he would, somebody, I think it was the lawyer, was telling her about um, somebody who got amnesia. So she's in a car accident and she fakes amnesia and goes back seven years to when she, when she first met him. And uh, And so on, but she is she is only faking, but he can't prove it until a bit later on she comes out of it. But then this guy she's been flirting with to make him jealous falls in the water and he can't swim, even though he's supposed to be a sailor. So McDonald Carrie's character drops it, jumps in after. And he's going past me and all, past me and all. So she passes him all and clunks him on the head. So then she jumps in to help. And McDonald Carey le leaves his, <laughs> loses his, his memory. <laughs> it's very silly. And then she goes back to the show. Um, they reopen the show and eventually he remembers everything. He has generally got amnesia. And uh, it's very funny. I love it. I love the costumes done by Trevia, who was Marilyn's costumier through most of her Fox career. And um, lovely costumes, <laughs> absolutely stunning. I, I think that's one. Oh, absolutely gorgeous! Great musical numbers, um, choreographed by Jack Cole. Um, and of course, his assistant was Gwen Verdon, and she's in it as well. Um, they do a number at the end called "I Feel Like Dancing." <laughs> Fantastic dancer ever such a good film. I like it. It's not one of her most famous or best known films or even best box office films but it's my favourite. I've always liked the ones that aren't that popular. Another one I love is That Lady in Ermine which again not that popular um, but I just think there's something about it that I like. I think Betty Grable's fantastic in it. I have got another Betty Grable film to watch I have never seen which is Elliot Yank in the Aria. Um, I'll watch that one soon. Got it for Christmas. I haven't watched it. I actually had quite a few uh, DVDs for Christmas that I haven't watched. But I will. I will. I don't want to get back into my movies. Yeah, this is looking good. It's taken me like 18 minutes, so about 16 minutes just to do these two pomegranates, as you can imagine. There's still more to go. Well, there's two more after this one. But I'm enjoying it. So I've got three other pictures on the go. What have I got on the go? I've got one in um, Jade Summer Weddings. Um, and that's one that I'm doing with Crayolas. So I've got a couple of images to, to sh a couple of pictures I've done with Crayolas to show you for when I do the Crayola review. So I need to have used them a few times for that before I can actually do it. So I've got that. This one, obviously. And then I've got one in Jade Summer Animal Mandalas because, of course, it's Jade in June month. So, um, and uh, the last one I've got on the go is uh, the balloon picture from Kirby Rosanna's uh, Imagimorphia, uh, which I've done because I remember the very first Bristol Foods uh, the balloon fiesta. It was about 78, I think. Something like that, anyway. I, I mean, I was only little. But I can remember the balloons going over where I lived and seeing the balloons and thinking how marvellous they were and it was the very first Bristol balloon fiesta 
So I thought I'll do that one because it reminds me of that that time. And I've done one balloon. Well, I've done the canvas of one balloon. It's a slow, slow old one. It's one. It's the one I take to do in the garden when it's nice. The weddings one is one I do downstairs in the evenings. This one, obviously on camera. And the one in the Animal Mandala book is the one I usually do in bed, which I won't be doing tonight because I'm doing this instead. I usually do it in bed and while I'm watching uh, my YouTube. So for instance, Slapped Ham or Unexplained Mysteries or Dave George and the Lion, whatever I'm in the mood for. I'm in the mood for weird stuff at the moment, so. I haven't been watching a lot of the YouTubers I normally watch and I'll admit that. So I haven't been watching Nick and Andrea Hills as much or Shed Flips, the reselling ones. I just haven't. I've just not been in the mood. I will go back and watch them. But at the moment I'm sort of like that. I don't fancy that. It's like everybody we have moods that we when we want to watch things and not and not, you know. I don't get to watch much during the day. I used to watch a bit in the morning before I started work. But Jennifer seems to be getting up at the same time as me at the moment, so... It's very, very difficult for me to... Actually... Do anything, so... In the mornings, other than what she wants, which at the moment is to watch Andy's Dinosaur Adventures. Con pretty much constantly which is not fun it's not the worst thing there are worse things she could be watching but <laughs> when you've seen it for three times in one day to be fair though I did turn it off at one point because she'd we'd gone out outside I went outside to get an order because there's an order come in. I've had another sale since, but I'll have to go in the next load. And I thought, right, well, it's not late. I'll go and pack it. And I turned those off, TV off. And we were out there for a little bit. And then when we came in, I put on slapped ham. And she was like, oh, but she was all right. She didn't, well, she won't bother by it. I know I shouldn't have done that bit there, but it is kind of, I can go over that. with the right bit. It's very hard sometimes to know what colours to do things but then again it's magical delights. It can be any colour can't it? Where's my other pencil? It's gone under the tray. So 23 minutes and I'm on my third pomegranate. <laughs> Never mind. Could be worse. So yes I'm very excited for the new set of Black Willows. I've got myself a new pencil case for them, so you'll be seeing that at the end of the month in my haul, along with anything else I buy. Um, there's plenty of space in it for the next 48, and then there'll be a bit of space left over as well. And yeah, I'm really looking forward, really looking forward to getting the, um, the next 48 and seeing what they're like. And of course, as soon as I get a set, once I've bought a set and they've arrived, I will do a review. But uh, we're just waiting for Albert now to announce it. I can't wait. I'm so excited. They have really become my favourite pencils. Can't explain why. I like the prismas, don't get me wrong. There seems to be a few missing from my pencil case. They're around somewhere. Oh, I'm getting tired. So these up here, these are pomegranate flowers. And over here. And this. So all this I'll try and do off camera before we do the next one. Otherwise I'm going to be here forever. Well, maybe not. Hmm. I might just do something different and come back to the pomegranates another day. So I asked what colour 
like handles should be and some people said it should be white and some people said it should be creamy ivory one person said purple um, so I'm still not sure what colour to do it I might go with um, creamy ivory which would pretty much mean not colouring at all I don't want, as much as I love purple I do I don't think that's right for it But I am enjoying this picture, it's very nice. Yeah, I think I'll I'll come back to the pomegranates later, the rest of them afterwards. Because these have taken a long time just to do these few. We were at 26 minutes almost. So I'll probably come back and finish these next time. This is a lovely picture, don't get me wrong, it is really nice. I actually love it, I think it's very, very nice. I think I might go with a pinky red candle because it'll go with the pomegranates. I'll have to have a, sorry, I just need to turn this slightly so I can see what I'm doing, that's it. That's it. And that's the thing with polychrome is you do have to put lots of layers on and I do get bored with constantly layering, I do. But hey, it's what it is, we will get there. enough on that one right I'll know which ones they are I'll just turn them around there we go done right yes I think I'll go for a pinky can so have a quick look at the pinks rose carmen and maybe mm, mm. I think rose I can find it Oh, how's that? Oh, Rose Carmen and that purple pink. A bit too similar, really. Just use Rose Carmen, Carmine, and what's this one? Fuchsia. Yes, that's a nice darker colour. Just to give my points. Like so. This is going to go off in a minute. So we're just going to do this candle now. So there's the two colours. Yeah. I said I've got a pink fairy there and there are two other fairies. I'm going to do a blue fairy and a green one, I think. So I'm trying not to buy colouring books, but it's not working. And Paul says they come in every day. I'm like, they're not. The next one's not coming till Monday, and that's actually been delayed to later in the month. So I, mean, I have got, I think, two on order, or is it three? Plus the one that's not coming till later in the month. And I obviously got the colour in heaven one. That's due out this week. I don't know what when what day that'll be coming. It's due out on Wednesday, but it gets here. The way things the post is at the moment, I don't care. It'll get here when it gets here, and as long as I get it, that's all that matters. As long as I get it in the end, all that matters is 
I get it. It doesn't actually matter if it's a day late or a day early as long as I get it. So recording stopped, I've just started again. Just having a quick look. What's happening now? Okay, we're supposed to have the heat wave again at the end of the week. But they did say we weren't going to have a lot of heat until the end of the month, but now we're going to have a heat wave. Let's see what happens. If it does, I'll fill up the uh, paddling pool. I say paddling pool, it's a really, really big paddling pool, but we're on a water meter, so it's a bit of a pain. Because, um, obviously, the more water you use, the more it costs. Let me have a quick look. Oh, good. So I've ordered a, a chlorine dispenser, which has been dispatched, and some chlorine tablets, just to keep the water clean. Um, we've got a tarp to go over the top. So we will put that over the top when uh, we're not using it. Some pegs to hold it down, tent pegs. And uh, we will see how it goes. So it gets hot. It's nice for Jennifer to be able to get in the pool. Me, I hate the heat. I'm not good in the heat. I'm better in, in cold. I, I like it more than I did. I like I like it being sunny and warm, but if it's too hot, I come out in a heat rash. And it doesn't matter how much sun lotion, or what factor I use, I still get a heat rash. So, yeah, it's not good for me the heat, and it's another reason why I don't do as much eBay as I should, because I'm so busy faffing around with the heat. Yeah, I like this colour on this candle. Looks good. And we can have it a little bit paler in places because it's wax. But yeah. I actually quite like that like that. Got a little bit of pale in the middle. There. I don't want it too dark. Maybe a little bit more there. Yep, I think that needs a bit in there where there's some colour missing that will be nice yeah I like that, that looks good right that's those done let's put those ones back which one was that, that was the carmine there and there right I'm going to do a blue fairy I think I'll use this one which is uh, phthalo blue nice colour. So we'll just do this little fairy here, his head and his body. Oh so Jennifer's latest thing is, and she's learnt this from watching Andy, Andy's Dines Adventure, there's some there's a little scene where little turtles come out of the sand and he goes, oh, and he's looking for shells. And he goes, such and such, such and shells, turtle shells with the turtle still in it. And she goes, turtle, as the turtle come out. And then another turtle comes out and she goes, more turtle. And it's just so adorable. And she is stringing words together like, um, daddy in there. Is daddy in there? Is he in that room? Or as, as she <laughs> handed me um, her toy, one of her toys, um, what was it? It was a toy um, unicorn, cuddly unicorn. She has it in bed with her, but she always wants it put back on the the, the dresser when we get up. And she points to the dresser. She goes over there. Over <laughs> And and now we've got to say, please. So she'll go, yeah, yeah, please, or peas, because she can't say the L, so she says peas. Yeah, yeah, peas. Now, yeah, yeah is Andy's dinosaur adventures. 
I don't know why. She can't say Andy, so she says yeah, yeah. A waffle is awful. Awful peas. She can say Peter for Peter Rabbit. <laughs> and Dougie and Bing. But, uh, it's just so, so cute. She's at that age now where everything she does, apart from when she's throwing a tantrum, is pretty much adorable. So, fair play. She's a sweet little kid. And she's good. She is a good girl. I'm going to do the little pearls now. These little loose ones down here. Can we see them? Yes. So, I don't think I can zoom in much more. I'm just going to get a little grey. I don't know what background I'm going to do. I do a dark green one. Just get a slightly darker grey out. It's hard to see that colour on there, I'll be honest. I've got to watch the Bibliophile Colourists video. I might watch that tomorrow when I'm in bed. Put the headphones on, colour and watch it. Because uh, I haven't watched him for a while. It's just I haven't had a chance to watch anybody. Like I said, with Jennifer getting up with me. The sort of video I'd watch first thing in the morning. There was a time when she wasn't into TV at all and I could watch whatever I wanted. Now, of course, she thinks she owns the thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to order some open stop polychromos as well because I think the dark green I'm going to use is pine. It's a lovely colour, but I use a lot of that on my um, image from Seasons over Christmas. And it's getting a bit short, so I might have to see about ordering one of those. There's plenty of places in the UK that stock polychromos. Hobbycraft is one of them. So. I mean, they, I, I'm doing them as pearls. They might actually be pomegranate granites, but it doesn't really matter. I don't actually care. I'm just enjoying doing them. We've been going nearly 40 minutes. It's not too bad. We'll keep going for a bit longer. But I'm going to have to go to bed soon. Because it's, you know, it's a school night. Not work in the morning. Oh, it was a disaster today. Nothing was working. Hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. I will do some different colours on the jewels. Because we haven't got, you know, some blues and stuff. To make it look a bit bit nicer. This is a very pale grey, you can hardly see. So. Good. so yeah, I'm still doing a lot of colouring. Because if it's nice out, me and Jen go out and she, if she doesn't, sometimes she doesn't want me to play with her. She like, no, sit. And she'll point to the chair and tap it. And she wants me to sit there and just watch. Or, she, you know, she'll bring her colouring pens out and some paper. And she'll sit and up on the, and on, on the chair and she'll colour as well. Because she wants to work. Mummy's when I'm working, she'll sit opposite me on the table. By your dad, you know, behind her dad, because he's at the desk. And she'll, she'll play with whatever she's got, like her blocks, she'll stack them up or she'll, yeah, I'll do that the same as I've done that next time. Um, yeah, she'll cut, you know, she'll colour or she'll play with her blocks or her toys and she'll sit opposite me. She just wants to be by where we are. She wants our attention, which we've got to work, so we can't give her as much as we want to. 
And then of course when I finish work I just go off and do a lunch. If it's nice we go outside and play. We watch TV, we colour. We have a nice time together. Oh she's a funny girl. I'm spending more time out in, in the garden this summer than I ever do. <laughs> and I think it's just because I'm off and Jennifer wants to do stuff. So it's like, come on, we'll go outside. And of course I've got my shed out there which has got her toys, some, some of her toys in. And so if she wants to play with those, we've got to go and get them. And it's got obviously my eBay stuff's in there. and her, We've got a lot of stuff in there actually. Her, her bed, her big bed's in there when she comes out of her cot we've got her bed ready just needs to be put up which is great so I am going to leave it here I think I, won't, I probably won't do the background on camera I'll probably do that separate so let's have a look at what we've done it's looking nice we've, we've done the, the lamps looking good and we've done the big part of the pomegranate. It's just got this one to do. We'll do that in the next one along with these and the fairy wings. And then done. So we'll do that in the next one and it'll be probably be the longest one of the videos that we're doing on these. I'm only cutting it short tonight because it's getting late because I was doing my eBay and I've got work in the morning and that has been 42 minutes so it's not a hugely long video but it's not so short that you can't do it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying the picture. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you again very very soon. I promise. I promise I won't leave it as long before we do the third and final part. I promise I will do it by the end of this week. So it's this is a Monday night. This will be going out Tuesday. I'll try and do it Thursday for Friday or something along there. If, if not before. It really depends if I can get to do it before. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.